flagged off the registrations last year in Bombay. She's here again to show her support. Thank you very much, Bipasha. We'd like a few words from you about your involvement with the Pinkathon. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, Devika's story is truly inspirational. Um, it's so important. Life is so precious. And uh, we as women in different roles, whether we are mothers, wives, daughters, uh, you know, we kind of bind the house together. It's so important to love yourself. You know, this philosophy that I talk about, I've learned it from my own mother. And we kind of, you know, being taught from the time we are born, we are taught to be givers. We kind of somewhere forget ourselves. It's very important for each and every woman to realize that they are precious to their family, that they should be precious to themselves. You know, life is so important. So it's very important to look after your health for a woman. They have to be aware. And I really have to thank, you know, causes like Pinkathon. I want to thank Maximus, Milan, Devika, everyone who's involved in this event. Uh, because it's just doing so much for us, all of us. Um, I want as many women to come out and run on the 15th of December for Pinkathon. And uh, a very important part, especially, you know, you guys present out here as the media can play in taking the word out, you know, spreading the word more and more. Because the more the awareness about health for a woman and for a man, I would say just take the cause of health forward. And definitely, you know, these uh, diseases like cancer, like the breast cancer awareness that we are talking about for this event is so important for every person to be, you know, know. Because, you, you know, you don't, you, we think that it can't happen to us, but it can happen to anybody. So you have to be careful. And um, I can just say, uh, you know, all the very best to the entire team. And uh, may Pinkathon happen in each and every city of India soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bipasha. We are lucky to have you as a participant in the Pinkathon. Please take the, your bib from Bipasha. The 10,000th woman who will run in the Pinkathon across India. We are very, very proud to have her here with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, if there are any questions that like, you'd like to ask us as we're sitting here. For you, I'm Sasha. Nice to meet you. Uh, Bipasha, the, see, we know that you're very fit. Uh, everyone knows about your fitness regime and all of that, which is very important for uh, awareness like this. But when it comes to your family, you know, your mother, your sisters, how much of awareness do you, you know, put on them and people around you and what kind of fitness regime do they follow? Well, the well, the it's not working. Working? Yeah. Uh, well, the philosophy of love yourself that I follow and I preach and I talk about very strongly has come from my mother. Uh, she has looked after three uh, daughters, uh, including me. We are three sisters and... Uh, Yet, you know, she's a homemaker, she provides for us, but she always looks after her health. You know, I've seen this and I've learned it from my own mother. And um, every morning as I wake up and as I'm ab about to do something active, the first two calls that I make is to my Didi, Bidisha, and to my younger sister, Vijayata. So definitely it runs in the family. I uh, consciously talk to them. And um, I have to say at times it's tough because everybody takes your life a little bit for granted. My older sister has got rheumatoid arthritis and I have got osteoarthritis. And um, it's not easy, you know, to have these uh, problems at a very young age and yet, you know, to be fit. But every day I motivate myself. I try to motivate as many people around me, my friends, people I meet in the gym, people I meet at work. And um, it's just a constant thing for me. It's uh, something that makes me happy to see a person get fitter in front of my eyes, looking after themselves. So for me, it's just a way of life now. Uh, Thank Bipasha. you so much. Uh, Bipasha, we have a lot of movies made on AIDS in our industry, but not a lot on breast cancer. So what do you think is the reason behind it? And if at all there is a movie made, would you like to act in one such movie? 
Well, uh, films are topical and yes, they carry the message very strongly. Uh, if there is a film like that and if the story is good, I would definitely love to be a part of it. Milin, this question is for you. Actually, I was just going through the post that you, uh, you know, tweeted on Facebook about, you know, thanks and all of that you've written. And we can see a lot of feedback coming in and people are actually talking about 2014, you know, like March. Uh, when can the Pinkathon be, you know, is it on 9th or 8th? Would you want to talk about that, please? Yes, I'd like to say that it is really, as, as Bipasha mentioned also, that films are made on topical issues. And I think that um, maybe we've done our, our bit so far. We're trying to do whatever we can. And I think there are more and more people talking about this cause today across the country. I mean, it's become really something that people don't ignore anymore, we, we, we hope. So, of course, when we spoke about the Pinkathon, now I get calls probably every day from different cities. I just got a call while I was driving here from Nagpur saying that we want to do the Pinkathon in Nagpur. And how can we do this? And, you know, how can we raise the funds for it? And, and what is the procedure? And I said that, unfortunately, uh, we can't do as many cities as we'd like to right now. Because, we, of course, we need support from sponsors. We need support from the local population. And we are focusing right now on the main metros, which is Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Bangalore, uh, 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 Chennai, cities like that. But to go to, we even tried a, a smaller city this year, which was Pune, and we did get a great response. But the main thing is to get corporates also to support this, because it's not an event, there's no event that you can do without support from corporates, without sponsorships. So all I tell them is that if there is a dedicated group in that city, we will definitely come in and we would love to do the Pinkathon there and spread awareness about breast cancer there. In fact, just thinking about the fact that we should go to uh, smaller towns and smaller cities and uh, activating groups in every city. Because, of course, if Maximus were to do it or I were to do it or even HCG were to do it or WCI, there is a certain limit to what we can do on our own. So uh, we did another event as an experiment called Mega Pink. In fact, just last Sunday. And I appealed across the country for ambassadors from their cities who would like to do an event to spread awareness about breast cancer. And we did that event on Sunday in 40 cities on the same day. So that was a great eye-opener for me uh, to see that there is an interest. People want to do it. They think the cause is really important. And they just did it on their own. They just said under the banner of Mega Pink, they promoted what the Pinkathon stands for. So yes, uh, we get uh, inquiries every day. We'd like to go everywhere. And hopefully soon we will reach more and more people. Thank you so much. Good Bipa luck with that. Vipasha, do we also see you running on the 15th of December? Well, there's a lady called Tanuja Mehra there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, if Tanuja, you know, frees me on 15th of December, I would definitely be there. Um, I think there is a 3-kilometer, 5-kilometer and 10-kilometer run. Yeah, whatever's allowed. I have tried to run in the Mumbai Marathon before, and I've been stopped every time. Um, I've tried to run the, eight, um, you know, the Delhi Half Marathon, which I'm a brand ambassador of. So it's um, a little tough. People don't allow me, but I'll try. For Milan and Devik, I'll try. Also, Bipasha, uh, your friends or colleagues, who are the people who 